I would describe my relationship with my bag as um, as codependent, and I like to think that a bag's purpose is to be filled. Um, so by providing that filling, I am also, you know, giving it life. Hi, I'm Emma Corrin, and I'm going to show you what's in my bag. Okay, we've got my bandana that comes with me everywhere at the moment because it, I use it as face protection, which is useful. And I always spray my perfume on it instead of on me, and so it always smells really nice. We've got my keys with my ridiculously big earring that I thought was going to be smaller, but I quite like it, but it's big. Yeah, wallet. Yeah, I carry a lot of nighttime tea around with me. Puck a nighttime tea. If you don't know it, get on it, it's amazing. And I drink it during the daytime because it's nice and calming. I always carry a notebook. I've got about a million notebooks at home. They've all been started at like various points during my life. I think this one was started in 2015. It's got some random stuff in it. I found a page the other day that made me laugh. Yeah, it's a page that just says, um, Sketch about nuts, nut puns, cashew later. And that's, that's all on that page. So thoughts, feelings, receipts, a toothpick. I normally carry too many receipts that I've put gum in and then forgotten that they're in my bag. We've got, ooh, this is nice. This is a gold stone, it's like a thumb stone. You're meant to use it when you're anxious and you rub your thumb in it. And also gold stone is meant to be good luck, I think. It was passed from one of my best friends for good luck when I was auditioning for The Crown and I had it in my pocket when they offered me the role. So that comes with me everywhere. What else? Oh yeah, this is amazing. This is Elizabeth Arden's eight hour cream and you can basically use it anywhere. And I use it on my lips. Or if I get like dry hair on my nose, I use it. But I always have it on me and I really freak out if I lose it. I've always got some kind of book on me, but small bag, they tend to be small books. I'm reading about medieval tapestries because why not? Oh, and I like to carry books of poems with me as well, because it's something that if you're like traveling and you don't have like time to get into your book, you can just like pick up and read a poem. Spencer, crazy kid, little badger, little badger man. We have got my vibrator, which is um, from Lolo. And um, yeah, it's great if you're just stressed and you need to unwind. And also it kind of looks like a lipstick or a mascara, so you know, nice and subtle to bring about with you. Oh, these are great. Um, these are Listerine like pocket packs, they're breath strips. And I was on the crown and there was um, a guy I worked with who um, played one of my one of Diana's secretaries and he always had them. And I'd never really see I hadn't seen them for ages and I was like, where did you get those? And I don't think you can buy them anymore in the UK. And um, on our last day together he had like bulk ordered some for me and gave them to me as a gift, which was really, really sweet. And they kind of I just think they're really fun. Um, I've pulled out a lot of stuff in comparison to the size of my bag, I'm noticing. I've got makeup y stuff, lip stuff, Pat McGrath. Oh, and this is amazing. YSL Touche Clat, I think that's what you call, what's called. I use it for under my eyes when I'm like rushing in the morning and I don't have time to put on makeup or anything and I need to look awake or a bit more alive. Perfume, Marrakesh Intense from Aesop, which is nice, it smells quite spicy. Oh! Tampon. More nighttime tea. And that's basically done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm really glad you now know what's in my bag. Um, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>